Alyssa Mercanti did see my impression of her. I did an impression of her and she did see it. And in fact, Frank uh, messaged her. It was like, oh, I'm glad you have such a sense of humor about the fact that you were, I don't know, impersonated or something. And she said, she said it was criminally unfunny. She actually wrote him back to say that I was criminally unfunny. <laughs> <laughs> but at least she saw it. Frost, I don't even know. She Frost won't acknowledge my. She no sold it. Frost never. Uh, I don't know. Well, she's been awfully it. busy since the death of G Four. I mean, right. <laughs> getting all those Hollywood offers. Come on. My plan for my Alyssa Mercante impression was to, at the end, I was going to take off my brown wig and and have the Frost wig underneath, but I yeah. couldn't find my fucking Frost wig, so. Mercante cannot. Am I crazy? That can't possibly be her real last name, right? That's like a stage name, right? Uh, Sounds like the name of like a Euro DJ or something. Like it's not even a. I don't know. Oh yeah, it should be. I've been calling her Mercanti. Merc. <laughs> Mercanti. Like I got. Like after I got blocked by her, I said I got Mercanted. Yeah, Mercante of Venice. I guess I don't know. Yeah. It just doesn't sound real to me she is not a she is such a cartoon person if you look into her she all of her degrees are like queer theories she has like the all the gayest possible uh like degrees and, and yeah, schooling yeah. anal prolapse study yes yeah. yeah an anal prolapse minor with a scissoring major it's like <laughs> okay we get it uh, and it's like her, her uh what was it her, her senior thesis or something was on literally like creating more space for gays and gaming and how like thwarting the heteronormative fucking things. And I'm like, oh, stop it. Stop it. Like, I just what? All, what all the language are offering those degrees. Exactly. Where did she go? Uh, she, I think she went to Newcastle. Alyssa Mercanti. Let's look at her LinkedIn. I remember when you like first got to college and it was like, oh, you have to pick a few exciting. electives in addition to math and science and all the normal stuff, right? So you yeah. pick a few of those funky classes because you just need to fill slots in your schedule. Oh, yeah. And uh, now the entire curriculum is just the electives. <laughs> it's just, oh, underwater basket weaving. Fantastic. I know. Well, let's try the above water version first. Yeah. Newcastle. <laughs> Baby steps. Oh my God. She lives in Brooklyn. Imagine my shock. Uh, I see she's in her Liza Minnelli in her 40s face. Uh, <laughs> Liza. <laughs> what is what is that? Oh God. Why are people talking to me? I haven't been on fucking LinkedIn in so long. Uh, what senior editor Kotaku games? What? You were serious blah. about wanting that normal job after all this uh, falls in on itself. Oh, oh yeah. Well, I've had normal jobs. Uh, I, I always worked a normal job until 2021 when they fired me for not taking the vaccine. Seriously, so I had regular day jobs for. Like I had no idea. Fifteen years, I was a full blown day job alcoholic. warrior. Oh. Yeah, alcoholic for sure. <laughs> She wow. oh she went to Binghamton wow so did my sister. Um, Summa cum laude boy that means a lot these days. Yes, yeah, some come loud, some come quiet, some not at all. Her degree, get ready for this, people. My degree, while focusing on contemporary literature, allowed me to direct my attention and research on queer theory, anti-normative modes of living, you mean cat ladyhood, and social justice and human rights activism. I wrote my dissertation on queer approaches. What's a queer approach? Like, walk up to somebody like... <laughs> uh, behind them in the prison shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get some soap. Uh, step one, get soap. Step two, drop it. Right. <laughs> complain oh. a lot about the trump wall that's that's yeah. how you get your degree you ask princess your... diana if walls work folks yes keep telling everyone about your tds uh okay her dissertation was on queer approaches to mo modern independent video games to connect indie games to the queer punk movements of the 80s and 90s and to carve out a clear <laughs> academic space <laughs> why does anything need to be connected to the queer punk movement of the 80s and 90s and to carve out a clear academic space for those who have been marginalized Wait, like, by the community. Like punk rock? Or are we talking like punks in prison? Like prison punks? Queer punk movement. I imagine she meant rock. Uh, 
I don't know. Marginalized by the community, specifically queers and women. My dissertation entitled Goths, Punks, Queer and Gamers identifying jesus christ i bet the teacher's like i'm not gonna read this shit identifying subcultural and queer conventions in contemporary indie games and establishing a queer punk indie gaming community what and she did exactly that received one of the three highest grades in my program and cemented my receiving a degree with distinction in the united kingdom higher education system a distinction is the highest honor possible as equivalent to a 4.0 gpa her resume is ex- sounds exactly like how she speaks. She, I was trying to say it in her voice. She right. has a a certification in responsible alcohol service. What? What you mean bartending? She was a bartender. <laughs> she was a bartender. Man, Just I knew I knew a, a chick bartender. like that. She was also a dog walker. Wow. She wow. walked in socialized pit bulls that were pulled from high kill shelters. So how have I never heard of her until she decided to start like just sniping people? Like, where did she come from? Like, she oh was God. like Kotaku or? She wrote something in American rape culture. <laughs> what? What? Is that, like the thing you have to send off to the lab to get tested after a rape? Right, right. What? I can't believe this is a, a publication publication yes american rape culture okay we got to hear this in your best narrator voice Ooh, this is fantastic. let's find it oh yeah american Whoa! oh it's the latest i wrote for um, uh, rape culture monthly what are you what are you from the chinese culture japanese culture yeah. well <laughs> rape is generally uncultured as much as I i've heard say, about i don't know I find it somewhat it's, uncouth. It seems pretty haphazard and random at times. A little bit. A little bit. Rape culture killed Liz- Lizzie Seberg. It's why the media chose to focus not on the horrific crime she endured. This is, I don't even know who the fuck Lizzie Seberg is. Wow. She linked to the prestigious publication, the Long Island Press. <laughs> <laughs> like... Oh, God. Oh my God, rape culture. A girl can dream, I guess. She's like, right. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I don't, I, she just hasn't been the same since that house fell out of the sky and crushed her sister. No, she hasn't. This is too long and boring, and I can't even. I, I don't even have that. <laughs> wow. <sighs> don't put this on your resume, Alyssa. Come on. At a certain point, like, you know, I mean, I'm not going to put every three month little thing i've had oh god this is so funny freelance writer do, 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 do. yeah i remember trying to flop up my uh my resume to make it sound like i've done shit even though no I kidding i was like i was putting like i used to do a, a lot of volunteer work every single so i st- i'm gonna start doing that uh pretty soon here but like i used to list all of that and I did it like every summer for years and years and years. So it looked like I had been working for years and it was actually like my first job. So my resume was like two pages long, even though I'd never Ooh. done anything. Oh, Got wow. me hired right away, though, at the uh, prestigious firm of Tower Records. <laughs> That's great. Good for you. I've had I've had so many jobs. where I don't know how I got like I was I, I wrote. Ugh, God, I was an editor. I was like a copy editor for uh, a publication that advertised Broadway shows. Ugh, like I had to proofread. I was like, a, who who would give me a proofreading job? I don't know. I worked at like three different advertising agencies. I bet you met lots of eligible heterosexual men in that line of work. Yes. Many ineligible gays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I worked at a hedge fund. I worked at, oh, my God. I've had like 15 jobs. I should just. I should. I want to do a bus tour, a New York City bus tour that just goes around like my different jobs, like makes a different stop at each one. 